Dear learners, welcome to this presentation on Soxlate Extraction. In the last video, we have seen about simple distillation. In this video, we are going to see about Soxlate Extraction or continuous hot percolation process. So do watch this video till the end to get more information about Soxlet extraction and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for latest updates. So let us start with our presentation. After watching this video, the learners will be able to explain the apparatus used for soxlation and understand the working of soxlation. When the active constituents of the drug are not freely soluble in the solvent or they are difficult to be displaced from the cells of the drug, then it becomes necessary to extract the crude drug by the action of hot menstruum for a considerable length of time. The fixed oils from seeds and alkaloids from the drug are extracted by continuous hot percolation process using chloroform, ether or benzene etc. Now let us see the apparatus that is used for extraction process. Soxlate extractor is used. It consists of a flask containing the boiling solvent, then soxlate extractor in which the drug to be extracted is packed. The drug is packed in a paper cylinder made from a filter paper and it is placed in the body of soxlate extractor. It has a side tube which carries the vapors of the solvent from the flask to the condenser and a siphon tube which siphons over the extract from soxlate extractor to the flask. And third part is condenser in which the vapors of the solvent are condensed again. Now let us see step by step procedure for so of soxlate extraction. The first step is the drug to be extracted is packed in a paper cylinder made from a filter paper and it is placed in the body of soxlate extractor. Then the solvent is placed in the flask. The apparatus is then fitted. When solvent is boiled on heating the flask, it gets converted into vapors. These vapors enter into the condenser through the side tube and get condensed into hot liquid which falls on the column of the drug. When the extractor gets filled with the solvent, the level of siphon tube also raises up to its top. Then the solvent containing active constituents of the drug in the siphon tube siphons over and run into the flask. Thus, emptying the body of extractor. This alteration of filling and emptying the body of extractor goes on continuously. The soluble active constituents of the drug remain in the flask while the solvent is repeatedly volatilized. The process of filling and emptying of the extractor is repeated until the drug is exhausted. Normally the process is repeated about 15 times for complete exhaustion of the drug. Now let us see the soxlate extractor extraction apparatus. As we see here it consists three main parts. Flask Soxlate extractor and third is the condenser. Condenser has water inlet and water outlet. The soxlate extractor on the left hand side it has the side tube and at the right 
hand side it has the siphon tube and the round bottom flask in the round bottom flask solvent to be boiled is kept and it is the water bath so this is the apparatus that is used for continuous hot percolation process now let us see the working of continuous hot percolation process or you can call it as succulent extraction or succulation as you can see here the working when the solvent is boiled on heating the on heating the flask when the solvent is boiled it is the it is converted into the vapors and these vapors they pass through the side tube as it is indicated by this arrow they pass through the side tube into the condenser and in condenser they get condensed into the hot liquid and they fall on the column of the extractor column of the drug then when the extractor gets filled with the solvent the level of siphon tube raises up to its top when this extractor is filled with the solvent the level of siphon tube raises up to its top the solvent containing the active constituent of the drug in siphon tube in this siphon tube the solvent that contains the active constituent of the drug siphons over and run into the flask thus emptying the body of the extractor as you can see here solvent containing active constituents they come down into the flask this alteration of filling and emptying the body of extractor goes on continuously filling and emptying of the body of extractor this process is goes on continuously the soluble active constituents of the drug remain in the flask as we see here after passing through the siphon tube the soluble active constituents of the drug they remain in flask but the solvent is repeatedly volatilized the process of filling and emptying of the extractor is repeated until the drug is exhausted so this cycle goes on continuing continuously until the drug is exhausted cycle consists first the uh, solvent is boiled and after boiling the vapors they pass through the side tube and they go into the condenser and they get condensed into the vapors get condensed into the hot liquid and this liquid falls into the extractor and now when the extractor gets filled the siphon tube level raises up to its top and in this siphon tube the solvent containing the active constituent of the drug it passes through the siphon tube and comes into the plus so and the liquid it gets again volatilized and the soluble active constituent they remain into the flask so this cycle is repeated continuously normally the process is repeated about 15 times for a complete exhaustion of the drug hope you have understood this succulent extraction process thank you for your patience listening if you like this video press like button and do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for your patience listening keep learning